Well, we head to India next, uh, which has extended a nationwide lockdown until at least the 3rd of May. 1.3 billion people will have to stay home for almost another three weeks. The lockdown has already been in force for three weeks, well, except for supply or medical runs. And the strict measures have hit the economy hard. Millions of workers, especially those on daily wages, have already lost jobs. The Prime Minister has acknowledged the economic pain, but he says that sacrifices have to be made. Sirf aarthik drashti se dekhe, to ye mehenga jarul lagta hai. बहुत बड़ी कीमत चुकानी पड़ी है लेकिन भारतवासियों की जिंदगी के आगे इसकी कोई तुलना नहीं हो सकती इंडिया हैज रिकॉर्डेड मोर देन 340 डेथ्स विद केसेस क्रॉसिंग द 10000 मार्क नाउ फॉर मोर इशन गार्ग जॉइंस अस लाइव फ्रॉम न्यू दिल्ली Ishan, so tell us about this extension of the lockdown. We also understand that measures might be eased in some places, um, what, a week from now? Yes, that is correct. That's the original idea uh, at the very least. Uh, on 20th of April, the government will take stock of the situation. Uh, they have made certain places hotspot where there are multiple cases of COVID-19. Now, the government is going to monitor these areas where there are multiple cases to see how they are faring. Now, if these hotspot cases in these areas are contained in the next uh, one week, and if new uh, hotspots are not created, that is new areas where there are multiple cases, there are multiple clusters, if that doesn't happen, then on 20th of April, the government might relax uh, some rules. Now, this doesn't mean that the public life in India will come uh, back to normal. This barely means that there will be certain commercial activities which will be given uh, the liberty to operate. And this could be in uh, forms of factories operating, uh, some factories which produce medicine, masks, hand sanitizers, basically keeping in mind that any commercial activity that can aid the response to COVID-19 will be allowed. And uh, because of this, probably some workers will be able to get out of their houses and earn some money. Ishan, you've been in uh, lockdown for the past three weeks. India's economy is already uh, feeling the pain. What does today's extension uh, spell out for the country? I mean, even before uh, the country had a whiff of COVID-19, India's economy was not doing very well. Back in November and October, there were discussions between economists and uh, the ministers in India to, uh, to basically get an idea of what to do with India's economy. The uh, consumption was falling, the demand was falling. And with the COVID-19, this has just taken uh, things to a whole different level. We have seen estimates from various uh, bodies, uh, from various banks and economic institutes saying that India's growth rate could drop down to 1% or even 0.5% in the next couple of quarters. So this is going to spell devastation for India's economy. But this is uh, one of those moments probably uh, when the ruling party in India has to decide what does it want to favor more, the economy or the lives of people. As uh, the Prime Minister today said, whatever the cost uh, of this uh, lockdown might be, it's important to protect people uh, uh, during this pandemic. All right, speaking of the lives of the people, the lockdown devastating the country's poor. You know, millions, we've already mentioned, they have lost their jobs. How will they cope with this extension? Are there more relief measures on the way for them? party, the opposition, the experts, they're all in sync. They're saying that whatever, uh, whatever the government's measures to uh, battle COVID-19 are, it's certainly going to have a massive impact on the poor. Now, the government announced a $20 billion package when the lockdown began. That was 21 days ago. Uh, and the government officials today have said that uh, there's a chunk of that budget that hasn't been spent yet. Now, the government has this pool of money in, uh, using which it's going to make direct cash transfers and also use the same pool to provide uh, free food and makeshift shelters but this pool of money is still a part of it at least is resting with the government so we are going to see some more expenditure from this bank now going forward the Indian government and also state governments they are working towards creating a new plan a new bailout package particularly aimed at daily wage earners and laborers who have been hit hardest because of this lockdown all right thanks for that Ishan Gauk speaking to us from New Delhi